Hi, this is AC Blender Tutorials, and today we're going to talk about how you can make a library in Blender for your assets. Okay, here I have a blank scene, and what I'm going to do is I am going to link in an element. I've already navigated to it. It's just a folder I created on my computer called Library. That's all it is. And in it, I've saved some Blend files. Everything in Blender must be saved inside of a Blend file, but I can store things inside of those blend files. So here's an example. The actions.blend. And here, this is a library for actions. So go into action. I have an action here that I can link. So I've now linked in the action. And you can see that it doesn't do anything right now. I play it. But if I open the action editor, it's here. It's linked in, and I can select it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the cube. I'm going to apply the action to the cube. And when I play the animation, the cube follows the action. This could be a character walk cycle. It could be a character saying a certain phrase for a facial rig or anything. It's an action. I can use this for other things as well. I can link in other things such as lights. Here I create a lights.blend file and in here I set up a group for turntable lights. This is just a rough example but you can see how it works. I link it in and now I have a light set up that's already predetermined and loaded in a library. Now I can't edit, this is the original light, I can't edit them or anything, can't change the properties, they're linked in, I'll get to more on that later, and so anything that's inside of another blend file you can pull in. So for a library it's just a matter of putting them in the right place. Here's another example, in this pose lib I have a group called rig. And this is just a very basic armature. And now in this case of an armature, I will want to manipulate it. So what I have to do is create a proxy. Now what this is going to do is going to create a local version of the object that I can manipulate the data of. Since I can't manipulate the original. So go into pose mode and I can manipulate this armature. Well, if I want to use, let's say, a pose library, this rig originally had a pose library in the file it came from, but you can notice that the pose library didn't come with it. But what I did is I can link in an action that's the pose library. Now, I can go to the armature I can set that LinkedIn action for my pose library. Now for this, I can't manipulate it when it's linked. I need to create a, a, a copy. So I can make it local, copy it, I have to hit this. Now I can edit it, but it's a local version, so any changes in making the original won't be affected. So I can apply a pose, select it all the whole armature. So I'm going to affect my pose, change to another pose, and it works. And these could be face shapes, they could be poses for character, they could be anything. I'm not going to get into creating the pose libraries for this. This is just about Blender libraries. And this is very powerful and you can do a lot with it. Uh, here's an example of just how far you can go. I'm going to link in an entire character. So go here, group, and I'll link it in. And this is the character I made. And there we go. It's a full character. And it's the same story. I just created a proxy of the armature 
And now I can manipulate the armature. So now I can animate the character, whatever I want. You have full control, and here's an example, this character has a face. So I would be able to... This shading is bothering me. I don't have any lights, so that's not any better. Or, actually what I'm going to do is I'll just link in lights. Actually, I think I already linked in the lights. So go down to the group instance. Uh, I deleted the original one, I'll have to link it in again. Okay, so now I have some lights. Uh, they're not being registered in with the lighting. I haven't tried that before, but it should render fine. Yeah, see it renders fine. Not the best lighting, but gets the point across. And so you can link in a full character, and then I could just go to the I could go into the pose library. I could import in whatever actions I wanted to. Uh, for my pose library, this library was not made for this character, so it wouldn't work. But if it had been, you get the idea. And that's how you can use libraries. Let me show you a little bit more about what the library actually is. So I'll open up my actions blend file. And you can see that all it is, is I made an action. That's it. Made a fake user so it doesn't get removed. That's all I did in that file. The lights. All I did was place these lights and add them to a group called turntable lights. That's all I did. Now here's another one I didn't show. Let me show that one real quick. I'll add a cube. And I will link in materials and I will choose material super texture now if I go to put a material on this person these are all the materials from the Minecraft character but you can see the super texture right here I can select the material and because these are linked as I upgrade the source files these will change as well because this also means that we messed up if I move my source files so you could also pin your materials if you not your materials but your linked data if you plan on moving it between computers For the external data right here you can pack all of it into the blend file and then you can send it to someone else without any problems you can also make all the paths relative for packing it into a zip file or uh, more suitable if you have a library placed on your computers for all of your files you may want to make the paths absolute so that moving around your blend file won't lose track of the library so now let me open up the materials again and let me add a cube so you can see I just have these materials in here with fake users all I did was just create a new material name, make it, add fake user, and remove it. That's all I did. You don't even have to remove it or add a fake user. You could just leave it on the cube. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this was helpful. I'm not going to get into making pose libraries again, but that's the basics of how you create a library.